Hi there, today we're with Jeff Holmiard, and Jeff, if you'd like to introduce yourself to our viewers. I am a fire investigator and inspector for the City of Barrie Fire Emergency Service. Great. So we have a couple of questions for you in regards to vacant homes. Um, what would cause a fire in an empty house? We have been to plenty of homes where the house is on fire and nobody's home. Sometimes it's because the dryer was left on and it wasn't maintained properly and if it's not maintained properly, it's not breathing properly and you know that can lead to a problem. There are occasions where there are rodents, for example, in the attic and they chew through the wires. That produces a short. There are occasions where the roof is leaked and when the roof leaks, water gets in and potentially reaches the wiring where again shorts can occur. We, I did, uh, excuse me, I did one investigation where the cause of the fire, and there was significant damage, was as a result of a sump pump malfunction. And most people who go out do not unplug their sump pumps. They don't want to come home to a flood. And yet, it could be the, result, uh, the initiator of a fire. Sure. Okay. There are other occasions yes. where if there are smokers in the home, something falls into a cushion a couch cushion, for example, and it may smolder for hours and hours before it ever reaches full flame. And there are occasions where it doesn't reach full flame, but you could be stepping into a toxic atmosphere. Okay, this is a, a single bedroom suite where a fire kind of occurred, okay? At first glance, it doesn't appear that there's any smoke damage whatsoever. And one would think that if there's been a fire, even if it's a small one, we're going to see some kind of smoke pattern here. However, if you look closer, something did occur. And this is the chair that we caught sight of in the previous right. photograph. Okay, now the smoking material here. What happened in this scenario? If you think about sometimes you light a piece of paper on fire, for the moment there's a flame. Sometimes the flame goes out, but the charring continues to travel across the page. That's what happened to this entire chair. There was never an open burn. However, we had a highly toxic situation here and a scenario where the potential for injury and significant property loss is very, very high. Okay, now with a, a home watch professional, that's not to say they could prevent this, but if the CO alarm was sounding, they could investigate, say, something's going on here. But we're not leaving till we find out what it is. This is as a result of carelessly discarded cigarette smoking materials probably went in between the couch and the cushion. Incidentally, the same thing can happen if you are using a, ch a battery charger for your cell phone, for your computer, your laptop. Putting battery chargers on soft material that retains the heat, this also leads to fires. We had a very significant fire in Georgian College residence a few years ago directly as a result of batteries being charged on the bed. Good information. Again, it may be hours, or it might never go to full flame, but it may be hours till it does go to full flame. And if someone is there to at least monitor the smoke and seal alarms, then we can uh, root out what was the problem here. Right. Okay, here's a seal alarm I gave you, for example, and it's got a peak button, it's got a test button and a peak button. If I were to test the push the peak button, it would give me a number that tells me the highest uh, percentage or parts per million that occurred in the home of carbon monoxide in my absence. Okay. What advice do you have for people who are leaving their homes for extended periods of time? I strongly recommend that you have your home checked on a very regular basis. You might be coming home to no protection, for example. If you're not home for a week, that might be the week your smoke alarm is chirping and the battery goes dead. Correct. So you've come home to a smoke alarm that will not chirp anymore because it's past that stage and meanwhile you have no protection at all. It's not a bad idea to unplug non-essential appliances. Of course you need to keep your home heated right. um, and you need to keep your sump pump on right. yep. in the event it's spring. There are lots of reasons to keep some items plugged in but certainly not all of them. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming today. We appreciate it. A big thank you to Jeff Homeyard of Barry Fire and Emergency Service. If you'd like to find out how we can help you, you can visit our website at www.agsecurehomewatch.ca. You can also email us at info at agsecurehomewatch.ca or give us a call 
249-888-9061. Thanks for watching.